of growth independent movement. Now let's approach towards growth dependent movements. Growth dependent movements now because of stimulus there will be visible growth in the plant. What is growth dependent movement? Movement or growth of any part of the plant. It can be stem, it can be root, it can be leaves, it can be anything. So movement or growth of any part of the plant in response to the external stimulus is called as growth dependent movement or tropism. Growth independent movement is known as tropism. So now there will be stimulus and in response to the stimulus there will be growth. Who shows growth dependent movement? where we can see growth dependent movement. The best example is this movement of seedling. Yes, we have all have seen this movement of a seedling. You can clearly see because of the stimulus of water, of sunlight, of minerals. Here the roots are growing, the shoot is growing. So this is an example of growth dependent movement where there is growth because of stimulus. Now let's see some examples of growth dependent movement. So movement or growth of any part of plant in response to the external stimulus is called as growth dependent movement or tropism. But there are four types of tropism. Tropism means movement. So let's see the four types of tropism. Very interesting. Number one, phototropism. Photo means light. Tropism means movement. So now the plant will move towards the sunlight. Next, chemotropism. Chemo means chemical. So the movement will be towards the chemical. The third is gravitropism. Yes, gravity means gravity as you all know. So now the movement will be towards gravity. And the last which is hydrotropism. Hydro means water. So now the movement is towards water. So we have main four types of tropism, phototropism, chemotropism, gravitropism and hydrotropism. Photo is towards light, chemo is towards chemical, gravity is towards gravity and hydro is towards water. We will see one by one. So the first is very interesting, phototropism. Let me show you this. Wow! You can clearly see sun, soil, roots and this plant. What is happening here? The shoot is growing towards sunlight. The shoot system of any plant respond towards the stimulus of light. That is, it grows in the direction of the source of light. This movement exhibited by the plant is called as phototropic movement. Photo means light and tropism means growth dependent movement. Here the shoot is growing towards the sunlight. Because of the stimulus of the light, shoot is growing towards the sunlight. But the point is, how is this happening? Let us see why does this happen? How can a stem bent towards the sunlight. What is happening inside the stem which is making it bent towards the sunlight? Let's see this. Let us magnify the upper end of the stem to understand this concept. Now, When we magnify this upper end of stem, what we see? This is the shoot, the upper tip of the shoot. As soon as light falls on the shoot, at the tip of the stem, there is a very special hormone released called as auxin. This auxin is released in response to the sunlight. 
So this is called as auxin. Auxin is very sensitive to light. As the unidirectional sunlight falls on the side of the stem, which is sunny side. Sunny means light, which is coming from one direction to the part of the stem is called as sunny side. You can clearly see this is sunny side and this is the shady side. Now, what happens next? Because there is more concentration of auxin in the sunny side than the shady side, auxin will diffuse from higher concentration to the lower concentration. Yes, this auxin will diffuse from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. That means from the sunny side to the shady side. Now, what is the role of auxin? What is the property of auxin? Auxin elongates the cell. It make long the cells. Now, if on one side the cells are long and in and one side the cells are short, there will be a definite weight difference. This causes difference in the length of both the sides. And of, and of course, the shady side becomes a little heavier than the sunny side, leading the stem to bend towards the sunlight. This is why stem bent towards the sunlight. In this way, any stem bent towards sunlight because there is release of a very special hormone called as auxin. And because of all this, you can clearly see now the stem, the shoot is bending towards the sunlight. This is called as phototropism.